Hi, Sue the Huya Nikora, Y Clement 222 and 129. Aka, Arikidui, Tapaidu, Rakawa Prime Minister, Māori Government, Aotearoa New Zealand, commissioned by Sovereign Confederation of Chiefs of Tribes. Aka, Paramount Chieftain Patuedua of the Authority of Mana o Tūranga Gisborne. Aka, Paramount Chieftain Teata Otorangi o Ngāti Parau. Aka, Senior Uri of Uepohatu through Rākau Manawa He and Kāri. I do solemnly swear on oath that I promise to tell the truth, the truth only, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. E mihia tūna, kia tātou e tōnei, tēnā koe te reo tangi o Uepohatu, tēnā tātou ngā koenga o ngā konohi ora o rātou mā kua mene. Tēnā tātou i o tātou maki kei tu o te arai, tēnei i tēnei rā whakahirahi. Whakatōpuhia mai rātau, hei tautoko ki raro i ngā papatipu o uepohatu, me te papatipu o te ngāre o uepohatu, me tōna rohe o Māwi mua. Mai ngā kuri e pāre ki te hirau, ki whanao kena, ki mataahu, ki rangi kōhua, ki hairini, ki taumata pātiti, ki ngā waia tamarere, ki kere nu huagua, ki ngā mānia o te mana o tūrana, ki te huka huka a tai, ki te ranganui o toi, ki ngā maunga hirahira. Nga whakao te atu, ki te maunga tapu, ki te maunga ohikura. Tūtanu mai, te toka ahuru, te toka tapu. Tau toko, nō reira, kia piki te ora, kia tātou. I seek to, I am the claimant in the way 129 and way 222 claims before the Waikani Tribunal. Two, I am giving evidence in this airing of your grievances hearing, not necessarily because I agree that the process of hearing is something acceptable to me, but rather so that certain pressing current and long-standing issues of a fundamental nature concerning Ruawaipu and Uepohatu and be found upon and will be found upon a public, on a public record. Number three, my preference would have been for full hearings before the Waitangi Tribunal, where I have not only been a claimant, but also given evidence in the Tūranga, in the Tūranga inquiry and the inquiry on the foreshore and seabed, and in both inquiries I was vindicated with others in the findings and recommendations of the tribunal. The denial of tribunal hearings has meant that many East Coast Fano, Hapu, Iwi and Tangata Whenua have been denied, in my opinion, a reasonable chance to fully place in evidence and thereby articulate their claims with the help of counsel against the Crown instead the claimant community has been railroaded into a settlement by way of the Ngāti Pro Settlement Act 2012. Number five, in December 2007, the Nuna Ngāti Pro Trump submitted a deed of mandate to the Office of Treaty Settlement to represent the Ngāti Pro people in negotiations with the Crown for the comprehensive settlement of all of the historical Treaty of Waitangi Claims of Ngātipuro. This started a whole chain of ev events which had to, which led to the 2012 settlement legislation. Six, the mandate originally obtained was only from members of Trump, not from those who claimed not to be represented by Trump. And in that regard, the mandate was forward to the extent that it could at most only represent Ngāti Pro interests and not, for instance, represent Ngāti Rua Waipu and Ngāti Rua Pohatu in their historical claims against the Crown in a negotiated settlement. It does not matter what people like Apira Namahuika and his son Matanuku say about the settlement being for all. It was foisted upon the many by the few 
than those few have personally profited from it with jobs, economic power, and political favor. It necessarily, it necessarily follows, therefore, that in the crown permitting Iwi and Hapu of the East Coast to be subsumed by a Ngatapro entity, the settlement legislation amounts in itself to a prejudice and is that is clearly inconsistent with the partnership principle of treaty and that the Crown has in effect, in effect elected to disenfranchise Ruawaipu and Ruapuhatu in their treaty relationships with the Crown. I venture to suggest that the same is true for other hapu I am able to whakapapa to, including Hawichi and Ngātiolea. And when such damage is done, it is hard to repair. Eight, definitions for hapu and iwi are to be historically con contextualised con contextualize by recalling but in for instance, that the contemporary in model is a modern construct and bears no resemblance to the traditional Māori iwi. While I believe in a modern world to provide con convenience, I look to my ancestors in Tikanga to provide my values. And in that regard, the settlement legislation is about util utility and money. It does not have a heart and soul that reaches out to the Tangata Whenua. It mocks the people, the people it is supposed to support, and enriches the oligarchy of Ngātipo Kūpapa. Number nine. The Crown has denied the identity of traditional hapu and iwi through its settlement legislation. It passed law and sponsors a view that, the, that ignores the multi multifaceted nature of the overall tribal tapestry. The Crown's this generous approach has been on the one hand not to be not to be involved in tribal de definitions, thereby feigning feigning difference to together. Yet on the other hand, to ram through legislation which denies any definitions are offered that will provide the full and true picture and the Ngāti Pro legislation is the best example of that to date. Ngāti Pro legislation is the best example of that to date. Number 10. Importantly, the settlement legislation has prejudicially affected non Ngāti Pro East Coast Iwi and Hapu descendants by omitting their recognition, thereby limiting their entitlement to effectively exercise their own tinaranga tiratanga in a meaningful, in a meaningful manner. 11. Only the individual tribes can exercise tinaranga tiratanga in terms of the Treaty of Waitangi, and whilst accepting that Ngati Pro is an iwi in its own right, the reality that belies its reputed omnipresence on the East Coast may be put into the correct perspective by, by reference to the Māori fisher, Fisheries Case decision on preliminary questions remitted by Privy Council where it has been said by a court. Larger groupings such as Ngāti Pro and Ngāti Kahumunu were a conceptualization of common kinship at a high level of genealogy rather than regu uh, regularly functioning social st structures. Number 12. The concerns of Ruawaipu and uh, Nuwapuhatu in the past uh, settlement world cannot be brushed aside of simple, dis simply dismissing, dismissed as the as the tumblings of a disaffected few. In reality, the hapu speak for them, for many hapu and iwi all throughout the motu, which find themselves in a similar position. Unfortunately, 
the Crown's bargain with Mephisto has been to trade treaty obligation and honour for false promise that full and final treaty settlements can be reached by a, spir a sprint to the finish line dressed in a one-size-fits-all outfit. Number 13. The view that all Tangata Whenua within Potikidua to Te Toka Ataia are putatively linked by Whakapapa with a Ngāti Pro connection resolves nothing. Only the individual tribes like Ruawaipu and Uapohatu can exercise Tinorangati Te Tanga in terms of the Treaty of Waitangi. 14. Why the Crown is so blinkered and committed to its forced assimilation strategy is because it does not have time to sort through hundreds or if not thousands of relationships with Hapu and Iwi that make up the real numbers in tribal landscape nationally and on the East Coast. This stratagem is clear. The Crown has refused on the East Coast to negotiate with the, with the constituent, constituent Iwi like Nuawaipu and Uepohatu. 15. It is about the Crown being inexorably drawn back into the attitude of colonization. Worse still, not only is the Crown re repeating mistakes of the past, but also repeating them such that damage done this time is greater. Indeed, the, ex the, ex the, inex the inexorable path seems to be dangerously close to cultural genocide, generally in the case where smaller iwi or hapu have been denied their treaty relationship with the Crown, Ngāti does not represent us, we represent ourselves. 16. Article 8 of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights or of Indigenous People seeks to prohibit forced simulation or destination of their culture and that states shall provide effective mechanisms for, for prevention of any form of forced assimilation. Quite clearly, the settlement legislation first scheduled seeks legally to extinguish the existence of Uepuhatu as Hapu of Ngati Pro. When that is factually untrue, that fact Uepuhatu is not part of Ngati Pro and never has been is a part of my sworn evidence today. 17. Article 8 reads, Indigenous peoples and individuals have the right not to be not to be subjected to forced assimilation or destruction of their culture. Indeed, the Crown's position on Uepohatu in that in this context has succeeded in excluding them from the prospect of a real settlement with the Crown by defining them as who they are not. Uepohatu have not properly consulted and the settlement as it stands and, and is so fundamentally flawed as to be valueless for them and the purported inclusion of our uh, Uepohatu in the settlement legislation through the definition raised <coughs> relied on, on on makes a mockery of both Tikanga and the treaty relationship. It is so scandalous as it is tragic. <coughs> 19. What I say is not new. It has been recognized in, <coughs> in Tikanga for centuries and by the Māori Land Court <coughs> for a hundred years that the greatest in interest in the Kautuku block, Mangaroa, <coughs> about 10,000 acres, and on the southern boundary of the Rohe of Ruawaipu Way of Minute Book, books 53, 54, and 55, are based on the Papatupu or Ruawaipu Ngatipro, has no connection of mana to that land, and such connections that are said to <coughs> exist by, by Finua of that land 
who di who 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 dis descend from Nuremberg rule. Indeed, she predates Proudhon by at least two centuries. Twenty. Tur turning now to the Amy airing grievances hearing hearings regarding procedural fairness as invited participants. That is, in these hearings, the participants should have been entitled to have counsel present. Counsel presence was not only directed to the procedure of our substantial matters in the hearing, but also related to other natural justice rights, including, including time to prepare, the preparation of the evidence to be presented, and the scrutiny of the draft evidence by counsel all of which is to prevent prejudice to the participants. The right to procedural fairness in terms of Section 27 of the NZBORA has recently been, been affirmed and elaborated on in the U US versus .com by Winkleman, JCIV, 2012-404-1326. In the A area of government, uh, grievances hearings, there are no protections for participants procedurally or otherwise. 21. OTS should have paid for the presence of counsel at hearings or at least the preparation for hearing to ensure that procedural fairness was, was achieved for the participant so that we would, we would not be prejudiced in what we present, and especially so because the recipient party is the Crown. Any, anything said by the participants can, in theory, be used against those same participants if the Crown so elects. In conclusion, 22, I stand here face to face with you, knowing your intelligence, Mr Minister, understanding your innocence and your vulnerability, the lies, mischief and misdirection of all sorts presented to you by the contemporary Iwi Ngati Pro, which created the corporate company called the Luna Nui Ngati Pro and formerly the Hayata Ngati Pro and formerly the Luna Ngati Pro Trump of Ngati Pro. 23. For 25 years plus, the corporate company of the Luna Ngati Pro Trump planned strategized, ske schemed and mandated vulnerable members of traditional tribes of Ngāti Wapohatu, Ngāti Waipu and Teitanga Ahauit. They were supposed to facilitate the Ohukei Moana fisheries of the Tairawhiti. They ignored, they ignored the traditional tribes and received lucrative payouts of fish assets of up to a million dollars annually and pocketed approximately, approximately $25 million up until now. That said, without a Razu coming to us, who are the traditional tribes. Number 24. For all this time, they have managed to sweet-talk you and, and convince you and your crown company and your government this year to steal, award and settle Ngāti Uepohatu Mana Whenua. Supreme land title absolute extent to the corporate company of the Luna Nui, the Luna Nui Ongati Pro, which is not a live person that can inherit and possess a body for Kapapa and therefore cannot possess a supreme land title. Ancestral inherited lands of the Tipuna called Uapuhatu or any other Māori natural person Tipuna. Number 25. In so saying, therefore, the corporate company of, of Nunanui or Ngati Pro cannot in inherit or hold Tipuna Uepohatu land title. Such action is invalid, unsubstantiated, and mathematically amounts to theft of proprietary land rights at the highest degree of theft of a land title. Number 26. Now that it has been explained to you, then you now know that you have awarded 
stolen and settled to the wrong entity. Therefore, I am of the opinion that the funds for $132 million gained wrongly with Ngati Uwepo Hantu proprietary rights assets should be paid directly to Ngati Uwepo Hantu and not to the corporate company of the Lunani or Ngati Pro wrong entity. 27. Having said this, it is not the first time that you and your OTS and your Crown Company have settled wrongly. Number 28. The first OTS wrong settlement of the theft awarded to the Lunanui Runa Ongaitahu Corporate Company over the proprietary right, title rights and $170 million that were owed, owned by the South Island traditional iwi of Waitaha under the Paramount Chief to, to Hawaii. Number 29, the corporate company of the Runanga Ongaitahu co uh, contemporary entity originated from Whangara from down the road from here and from the eponym of Tahu Portiki who was the younger brother of Prodangi of the corporate company of the Runanga Nui Ongati Pro. As a result, the Waitaha traditional iwi of the South Island and its adjacent surrounding peoples became landless. They lost 45 million acres of supreme title rights, titled lands, and all that were left are the songs of Waitaha, memories of bygone days, and broken people who wearily sit and will loudly and, and will wail loudly as they retell their past, history and loss. They speak to record they speak to records and whakapapa desperately and hope that one day they may retrieve land, land title which is rightly theirs. 30. In this regard, Ngāti Uepoha to abhor the thought that maybe we could be like the people of Waitaha, beaten down like animals. Further OTS settlements were also recently wrongfully adjudicated, stolen, awarded and settled by you and your Crown Company and your 121 parliamentarians for Rongo Whakaata, Whānaua Kai, Te Whānaua Te Koti, Wipere Trust and Kaiputahi Corporate Companies. Number 31. The above entire land titles belonged rightly to Te Papatipu o Te Ngāre o Uapohatu, as recorded in the Papatipu books and within the Uapohatu DVD of the Rohe or the original traditional territorial boundary of Ngāti Uepohatu. 32. The excerpts of the boundary of Uepohatu shall be presented by our next Uepohatu submitter for the validation of the Tūranga for Gisborne territory which you have settled wrongly to the named corporate ent entities of your recent settlements. 33. To summarise explicitly, those settlements were the entire lands which not only belonged to the Papa Tipu Otto, or the Ngāri or Uepohatu, as were recorded in the Papa Tipu books. It started with it started with the plains of Urbania of Gisborne, the ranges of Tangihare Tanga block of Ihayapatu Tahi, and the vicinity of blocks one to eight of the Keredu Huahua and Mangatu area to Hikurangi Mountain. Then the beginning from Awapuni to Waipawa River began the Turanga or Gisborne blocks A to G of the lands of Patuwedua of Ngāti Maru of Uepohatu. The Waiapu Minute Book number 7 recorded that. The Mana or Turanga or, or the authority of Gisborne belonged to the Patuwedua and went to the uh, Mimiopawa of Ngāti Maru, who inherited the Patu called Patu Wairua, the ear pendant called the Motoi, and the Tahahinu Calabash or Huahua of Kerenu Huahua. His tohu came to my great grandfather Mimiopawa, and today I have inherited the authority or the Mana of Turanga with replica of the Patu Patuwairua. 34. The above history was related in the Māori language to Judge Joseph Victor Williams 
and his waiting hearing at Gisborne. All have been ignored and you and OTS and the Crown Company have awarded, stolen and settled Ngati Wapohatu lands wrongly and wrong entities of corporate companies instead and given, given financial payments as well. 25. Ngati Wapohatu has suffered by yours, by OTS and the Crown Company actions of theft and our grievances shall not cease until all our proprietary rights, titles and assets are resumed, uh, are returned to us and we are fully co compensated for suffering and humiliation. Number 36. All the above grantees of Rungofakata, of, 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 of Fano Akai, Te Fano Ateiwi, O Te Kochi, Te Fano Awipere, and Ira Kaiputai are all corporate corporate companies who cannot whakapapa to the ancient traditional ancestor of Maui Mua and 22 generations to Uapohatu and to the 11 recorded children of the eponymous paramount chief called Uapohatu. Chieftain called Uapohatu. Number 37, I descend from the Tuakana senior an eldest child called Rakel Manohe and the third child called Kadi of Uapohatu. From these ancestors, I am able to inherit my mana whenua, supreme land absolute extent title to lands of my ancestor Uapohatu. 38. With you stealing, awarding and wrongly alienating and settling by your parliament votes and statutes, my rights to the corporate company called Te Runanga o Ngāti Pro. You are denying me of my ancestral inherited whakapapa, my entity, my history, my, my indigenous native Māori titled land rights. Mr Minister, after hearing these grievances, I pray that you would see natural justice and do the right thing of extinguishing the settlement to the settlements to the corporate company of the Lunanga of Ngāti Pro. Otherwise, we shall proceed to the International United Nations Organization Forum to complain of your breaches of our human rights under the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, to, in particular, Article 25, where we, as Uepohatu Indigenous Peoples, have rights to maintain and strengthen our distinctive spiritual relationship with our traditionally owned or otherwise or otherwise occupied and used land land territories, waters and waters which we own and coastal seas and other resources and to uphold responsibilities and ownership to future generations in this regard. 40, Article 28, Uepohatu as indigenous have the right to our lands, territories and resources which we have traditionally owned, occupied or otherwise used or acquired. You shall give legal recognition and protection to these lands, territories and resources and have due respect to our customs, traditions and land tenure systems of Uepohatu indigenous peoples not to come and, and award, steal and settle with corporate companies that do not have a traditional whakapapa and credentials. 41. Article 28 gives Uepohatu indigenous right, people, indigenous people the right to redress by means that can include restitution or just or just fair and equitable compensation for confiscated uh, lands and resources taken without our free, prior and informed consent. Number 42, but worst of all, your Crown Company militia colluded with Ngati Pro, Kupapa, and tortured, murdered, beheaded and state heads of 168 innocent women and children and 20 elderly naked stripped old men at Ngatapa, at the back here, in the vicinity of the Mana Otudama. At 
the fortified pa of Ngāti Manu of Uepohatu. Luckily, present was an eyewitness called Dr. Ruskin, who was, who was a colonial assessor. He recorded everything and tried to publish in New Zealand, but was disallowed. He returned to Britain and tried to publish the atrocities of the Holocaust. There, the Holocaust there, but was also disallowed. He then sent a copy of his manuscript to Tabate Kapua, Poata of Togamara Bay, a human rights fighter, and when he read about my researches, he sent me his manuscript, which he called Te Aure de Tanga. Two weeks after, the, he died. I brought it to show you, included in the book, a horrendous excerpts of other misdeeds of Holocaust by the Crown Company Militia and Ngāti Pro. 43. That there is a precise recording of the bloody actions of the Ngāti Pro with whom you have associated to create havoc to Uepohatu. There were flawed mandated records of their dead of their dead people and vulnerable traditional members of Ruawaipu, Hawiti and some Uepohatu who lived in hope that would be dealt with a good financial deal financial deal in the near future. You, the Crown Company and the government assisted them financially with, with, with millions of dollars and thousands of dollars to get mandating from Australia and other places throughout New Zealand to get them to Waitangi Tribunal hearings and to aid them in their advertisements and propaganda. propaganda. The company was assisted by the Crown Company in every way to catch Uepohatu and the other traditional iwi unprepared. There were army strategists like Wira Gardner and Monty Suta who came and played politics with, with our simple minds in the hope that we would agree to give them our traditional rights but we never sold them anything. So Apida Nangata recorded within the Papatupu books that are about authority. Authority means mana. The mana of the land, mana of the oceans, the mana of the sacred places, the mana of the person went to Uepohatu before the arrival of Toikeidako, the Kuru peoples, and the Prodangi of Ngati Pro peoples. 44. The Uepohatu Papa began with a demigod. Maui Mua, Paramount Chief Lineage and Senior of all Whakapapa in the entire Tairawhiti territorial boundary, as the, ne as the next Uepohati submitters shall cover. The Whakapapa is paramount and you must understand that no matter how much you, you try to take away Uepohati identity, history, authority and award them to another, you cannot because the land was in extent forever. 45. I, Ariki Nui Tapairu Ngakawai Prime Minister commissioned by the Sovereign Confederation of Chiefs of Tribes under the 1835 Declaration of Aotearoa New Zealand Independence, Akasu Nikora, the Huinga Nikora, the Huinga Nui, do give sovereign notice to you. Honourable Chris Finlayson, Attorney General, to extinguish your wrong settlements that you, as Minister of OTS, is, has awarded, stolen, and settled Uepohatu Indigenous Ancestral Supreme Absolute Lands title extent to a Runanganui or Ngati Pro, a corporate company which does not possess a Whakapapa and does not possess a supreme title or land. The $132 million which you are contemplating giving the corporate company, you need to forward to Uepohatu for comp compensation for suffering and humiliation. 46. Failing this sovereign demand, you shall be taken to the International United Nations Organization Court for breaches of our human rights of indigenous status to the Haak before the War Tribunal to answer allegations of Holocaust for murders of our ancestors 
and worst of all, to allege committing of treason against the sovereign confederation of chiefs of tribes of Aotearoa New Zealand, which is recognised by the international community. Ariki nui tapairu ngā kāwai ngā rangi, aka su te hui ngā nikoro of Wai 129 and Wai 222. Ariki nui tapairu ngā kāwai ngā rangi, Prime Minister, Sovereign Māori Government of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Lorena, tēnā tātai.